Welcome to episode number six of True Stories with the Twist of Humor. My name is Farron, so happy, and we are coming to you from YouTube. So if you haven't done it yet, head on over to Music and Beyond Productions' YouTube channel and subscribe and follow us there. Also, don't forget to head on over to Facebook and search up Music and Beyond Productions. Find the page, like the page, do the exact same thing for Instagram. And please come and visit our website at www.themusicandbeyond.com and check out our website. Now, this story pertains about me, and it just recently happened. Um, you know, I'm always razzing my brother about, like, famous Daves and uh, miners when we go down to the Yakima Valley. And we just recently went down there. Uh, for my niece's high school graduation, we went to the Sun Dome. And right before we went down, I was just giving my brother a really bad time. Um, I was like, you know, it'd be awesome if you could just get us, uh, you know, uh, Famous Dave's chicken. And I just kept going on and going on about it. <laughs> and I think he got tired of it. So... Uh, first off, you know, when it comes to minors, like, oh, it's overrated and majors is better. And he talks about all these different places in Yakima that I haven't been to yet. And it's not very often I travel down to the Yakima Valley. But I brought up minors again. And um, he got me pretty good. He had me believe. And now, as many of you guys know, there is a lot of... Uh, restaurants and fast food chains that are starting to close down and some of them have filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy I believe it's called and uh, I was talking about famous Dave's and like yeah it'd be cool if he'd get us like uh, it used to be called a trash can lid where it has chicken and ribs and all this other stuff on there and he goes oh well did you know that famous Dave's is going to be closing here in Yakima and here I go, it's like, well, yeah, probably, because I know a lot of places are filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And I'm just going off, and it's like, well, I guess me and my wife better go eat one last time. And bam, right there, it's like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, he stopped me dead in my tracks. Oh, I was sitting there just like, oh, you bleep bleep, you got me. <laughs> And, uh, uh, we were talking about different places down there, but, you know, when I got off the phone with him, I was sitting there, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe my brother got me on that one. And again, you know, like I said, there's been a lot of uh, fast food chains, a lot of restaurants, you know, mom and pop shops that are closing down. And, you know, it's pretty sad because, you know, how the economy is right now, everything is so expensive and um, no matter where you go, it's, you know, it costs a lot. And uh, I don't think too many people really dine out anymore just because it's so expensive. I mean, even going to the grocery store is expensive. But, yeah, my brother, oh, geez, he, like I said, he got me there. Here I'm all believing in him, too. And he's like, yeah, they're going out. And, you know, I kind of believed him because... There was a Sonic down there on Union Gap. Well, it's no longer there. And there's a couple other places that's no longer there. So in my mind, it's like, oh, man, there was Famous Dave's. Now I got to go to Tuck Willow or somewhere else. <laughs> and, yeah, he halted me in my tracks. But he got me pretty good with that one. Um, and we never got a chance to go to Famous Dave's when we was down there recently. Uh my uh, sister and my brother-in-law suggested we go try out Peppermint Stick. And I know that place has been in Union Gap for many, many years. And I've never went there hardly except once uh, when I was young. And I do remember we stopped in there. Uh, my grandparents took me and my parents there. And I believe my brother and my other sister they were taking us back to Seattle because we were getting ready to fly home to Alaska. And I think that's the only time I've been there. Other than that, we'd always bypass it. We'd always go to Miners, Art of Famous, Dave's, 
Uh, pretty much only two places we've ever gone, but I want to tell, tell you guys this because, yeah, I mean, it happens to everybody, like I said. Um, you know, the, the past five episodes, I've just kind of been telling my different experiences uh, about other people, but this one is about me, and like I said, my brother just got me really good, so if you haven't done it yet, again... Come on over to YouTube, search up uh, the Music and Beyond Productions channel, subscribe to our page. And if you have any funny stories you'd like to tell, even if they're about me, uh, let me know. We can record them or you can send them to me, however you want to do it. And also, head on over to uh, Facebook and search up Music and Beyond Productions. Find the page, like the page, do the exact same thing for Instagram. And if you'd like, head on over to SoundCloud and search me up Fair and So Happy. You're going to see I have two other shows, the, the Music and Beyond show, as well as Farron's Food Stops. So I hope you've enjoyed this short segment. And yes, brother, you got me good. <laughs> but that's what this is all about. You know, we're here to have a good time and laugh. And again, I'm not trying to offend anybody. We're just... Having a good time because they always say laughter is the best medicine and sometimes we need it in this day and age. So have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you at the next one.